I'm happy to be sitting on such a well-designed chair. Now tell us, what makes for good design as against bad design? Something that does not serve the purpose it was intended for is surely bad design. Have a look at this elevator switch. How would a user know which button to press to go up? Look at this helmet. It gives protection of course, but it is so uncomfortable to wear in the summer. It also cuts the angle of vision, which is very important for driving. And it cuts the surrounding sound, which is very critical for turning left and right and making it very, very risky. So how do designers ensure that they avoid these pitfalls? One way is by understanding the end users as well as they can. Designers have developed methods and processes to learn about the needs of users in their given context. That brings us to the topic of our next module. We will be introducing you to the concerns of users and their context. In the meantime, visit the course platform and read the materials in the reference tab of module one. You will also need to go to the assignment tab for the exercise of this module. It is due within a fortnight. And those of you registered for a credit on this course, we urge you to get in touch with your mentors to discuss your project topics. And here's something I want you to remember. A little design goes a long way. See you next time.